Good afternoon everyone, my name is Kevin. I think everyone is shocked that I'm from Utah. It's a bit awkward that Utah is giving a TEDx speech in Utah. <laughs> I thought Utah TEDx is supposed to be inviting someone else from outside to have a TEDx speech, but I was grateful to be here. Feels a bit cold. <laughs> so, okay, I think if you take a look at the brochure, and you'll be very curious why the title is called What Can You Do With A Pen Knife? What kind of stories can I bring out from a piece of pen knife? Okay? Uh, if I were to give you a piece of wood, okay, a piece of wood, what would you do with it with a pen knife? Uh, I can let you see an example of what most people actually do. Something like that. Well, it's good, but here's what I did. Okay, so this is from Wood and ice cream steak made from pen knife. Yes, pen knife. It took me two days actually. A lot of patience were actually spent there. So, the next thing that I would like to point out, which is if I were to give you polystyrene. So, I think a lot of you guys have been running a lot of events and you'll be using a lot of polystyrene because it's easy to handle with, it's light, it's cheap. So, pen knives with polystyrene, majority of people will actually do this. That's creative. Uh, but what I did was this. And yes, it flies. Okay, and let's take a look at another thing. What I'm wearing here, it looks interesting, right? Um, you might be asking, don't I need something like a laser engraver to do that? A uh, laser engraver usually costs up 500 ringgit or some will go crazy up to 12,000 ringgit and above. Um, if you cannot afford a laser engraver, get the pen knife. So, uh, why am I sharing so much about pen knives? Well, growing up as a kid, my life was actually a great adventure. Uh, I don't grow up in an environment where I cry, I beg, or ask for toys. I get toys by building them. So, I remember when I was young, I went to a shopping mall. I saw this guy, he was demonstrating a helicopter, the world's smallest helicopter. And I, I fell in love with it. It was love at first sight, but I never requested for it because I know I pretty much don't get it. If I request for it, my mom will be like nagging. You better get good results before you ask for that. So I'd rather save the nagging and the death stare from my mom than asking for it. Immediately after I went home, I salvaged some leftover polystyrene and I took out my pen knife and I salvaged a zero box. I used the cardboard, I made my own propeller and I built that helicopter and I put some rubber band, I twist it, I let it go. It flew, it propelled upwards. Same goes to my heart, it propelled. That small little moment was good enough, although it was not remote controlled. So the helicopter pretty much looks like this. Well, this is not the one I made, but it looks similar, something like this, okay? And let's move on to my primary school. In primary school, I was a huge fan of Batman. Like a huge fan of Batman. Now, Let's get physical, okay? I mean, like, physical, not that kind of physical. In, in primary school, we don't, much, we don't get much uh, technological advanced games like, you know, iPads, iPhones. People don't talk about what is Fortnite, what is PUBG, or what is actually GOS. I, I don't know any of those. We have the most popular game of our childhood, which is this. <laughs> So we will be going crazy, flipping around in races, stacking at each other. Yes, I got the best skills. 
Um, for me, as I mentioned, I was a big fan of Batman. So what does this have to do with Pen9? Now, quick question. What does Batman carry about most of the time? His primary weapon. Something that he chose around, right? So, immediately, I took my pen knife, I broke it into two pieces, I shoved it at the opposite corners of the eraser, and boom, I took a black pen and colored it, and I got better at I am vengeance, I am the knife. I am Batman. But, okay, I didn't throw it, okay? Kids, don't, just don't. My mom was furious when she found out. When she found the eraser was in my pocket, right? She was furious, okay? Um, but of course, I was conscious enough not to throw it at someone. <laughs> so, things got more interesting in high school, and it got a lot tougher in high school. In high school, we have a strict rule on prohibited items. We are not supposed to bring pen knives to school. Try to imagine, having pen knives since childhood is like a relationship with me. It's like I'm having a love affair with pen knives since young. So I had no choice. I had to have another affair with the pen knives person, which is the scissors. <laughs> so, in my high school, there was this period when my high school is having renovation. There's leftover PVC pipes. There's leftover bolts, you know, steel rods. There's leftover ball bearings. Then, there's the sharpest thing that we can ever have in high school was the compass. You know, the compass. I took the compass, I poked it through the PVC pipe, I took the head of the scissors, I slowly, you know, shoved it slowly, and eventually I drew a hole. So I drew, uh, I drew a total of four holes, two holes for each PVC pipe, I joined the rest of the PVC pipe to make it a flat surface, I took the bolt, I joined through the ball bearing, and I screwed it on my school shoe. I was making my roller skate. And I was skating across my laboratory. Everyone was like, <laughs> my lecture was, <laughs> but when I was taking up the staircase, my discipline teacher, I saw that, I was like, clack, 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 because it's naked, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I had adventures with it, uh, and, and adventures with a lot of these basic tools. Of course, I still prefer pen knife. Uh. So, <laughs> uh, then I went on to university life. And things got very, very messy. I got a lot more support. I got a lot more access to tools. I got access to everything. I got 3D printers, I was sponsored. I got drills, I got... I, I lost count, I got everything. Pop glue gun is my next best friend. I'll show you why later. If this were to be a topic, what can you do with a uh, hot glue? Yes, that's actually an example of it as well. So, uh, Working. Okay. So, in university life, I began learning how to 3D print and I've seen a lot of people having curious questions like, can a pen knife do so much? If I were to tell you, you would use hot glue on polystyrene, people would start questioning, what the hot glue melt polystyrene? Well, I always felt that I was dumped by people whenever I suggested ideas. I was like, you don't have to buy a special tool to cut PVC pipe, you can actually just use pen knife, roll it over, snap it, and it works. They'd be like, oh, okay, no, he's his foundation, so he doesn't know anything much. So that was four years back then when I was in Utah, here, exactly here, this hall. And slowly when I moved along, I tried proving to people, I showed people, I taught people. But then, it didn't work that well. Because people are being too reliant on what they have, they have been so bumped in such, they think that to cut PVC pipe, I need to get a saw. To drill a hole, I need to get a drill. To make a 3D structure, I need to 3D print. But that is all wrong. Do you really think that the tools are the ones that represent us? Don't forget, humans make tools. Tools don't make humans. I can give you the best tools that we have. Like, our school is well facilitated with a lot of things, 3D printers, but no one is actually using them. 
People take things for granted. So eventually, with my pen knife little story, I tried to show people the path on how to appreciate and bring the maximum potential of everything. And eventually, my group grew a lot bigger, slowly, bigger, and bigger. These are all the projects that we have done. Oh, by the way, this is the hot glue story. Yes, if you cannot afford a toy, you borrow someone's toy, you hot glue the person's toy, you cut it to half, and you make your own hot glue toy. Well, it's the same thing. So, as, as you can see, the one on the left hand side, the one on the left hand side, oh, the right hand side, sorry, it's my left, so. The one on the right hand side, it's all hot glue with LED. Isn't it nice? Well, everyone can do that. So, when I don't have three printers, I pretty much cut my own drone. And when I have 3D printers, I design better drones and a lot better. And it keeps getting better and better and better. So we did robots like that, even without tools, without proper drills, without proper saws. We did more. Try to give a guess what is this made from? I heard 3D printing. Hot glue? No. You gotta step down a little bit. Tissue paper and newspaper. It's all the way tissue paper and newspaper with some PVA glue and some paint, of course, is untouched. Uh, for the paint, I used super glue and I, I actually did some tissue on that side, so it's actually sharp and pointy and hard. So, hey, give a guess, what is this made from? I did this for you know, this is the same hall that we are right in right now. So it's actually really small. Uh, the egg is actually PVA glue, only PVA glue. And uh, this is obviously sponge. This is masking tape. And this little portion here is rice. Get it? Rice. I just pour some PVA glue on top of it to make it look like it's very deep. So eventually, through my, through my journey in Utah, I began using lots more project, bigger project, as you can see, my group actually grew a lot bigger. Yeah, we grew, and that's how we formed Utah Biggest Club. But actually, a lot of people are against us, but yes, the truth actually unveils itself. So that's how we formed Utah Biggest Club. At the same time, when we formed Utah Biggest Club, we found out that actually students are having difficulty trying to engage external company. So we decided to launch a company called Content, where we actually took up projects from external company. We engaged students by doing it. Then what external company saw was actually students have potential. All you need to do is just believe in them, show them. It's a simple culture. If you see someone doing something, you do it together. But if I were to ask you to alone, pretty much won't want to do it. So, um, of course, you must be wondering what our company do. Basically, build stuff like this. Well, this is actually an aircraft. Well, one part of it at least. So, I would like to demonstrate to you. It's actually one side of the aircraft wing. semi training printer is made from polystyrene. Yes, polystyrene. And what you do is just Flip it up and you can actually control it. Oh, wait. I think the battery right now, but it's supposed to move like that. Okay? So this is actually one part of the, the aircraft. It's supposed to carry medical support. Up in the future, in the future, not now. It's supposed to carry medical support. And another product that we like to do, which is drones. I think everyone is interested to see the drone fly, right? So now I will demonstrate the drone. And what's so special about our drone? It's 3D printed. And silent. Silent and it's fast. And it can do flips. And it has a camera on top of it. So 
So this drone is meant for surveillance. Stay both. But he did copy the base one time. I'm a bad pilot, I'm just an engineer. Okay? Engineer to be. I haven't graduated. So but while I was building all of these projects, I tried to look back on my past projects while I was doing this slide. Then I began to realize that I did a sin myself. I personally became reliant on machines. I relied so much on 3D printing. I relied so much on 3D drawing. I relied so much on power tools. I have forgotten the ways of what can actually a pen knife do. Yes, I carry pen knife along with me every day. I'm a dangerous man. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's, it's a good practice. You, you learn how to you know, appreciate it. So, today, the main values that I want to bring with you are actually very simple. Humans make tools. Tools don't make humans. There's a reason why we differentiate things and living things. Don't let the tools portray who you are. You are who you are. Secondly, well, you see, we can do so much with just a little bit of hand time. Just one hand time, okay? It may be simple, unsignificant, but you can do so much. Why not you try to take a look around at what you have? If a pen knife can bring me so far, what about the stuff that you have? Shouldn't you be at least further? And last but not least, I've shown you the wonders of this small little pen knife. Now, the next time if someone were to tell you something is impossible, think twice. Think twice. You don't have to follow what they say. You do it. Show them. Let them follow you. Thank you.